asked the local police force, my dad included, to search that place. Everybody knew this guy was guilty. They couldn't pin any of the murders directly to him. At least not with anything that would stick in court. Then my dad found something. A purse belonged to one of the missing women, squirreled away in the back of that guy's closet. That was enough to put that some bitch away for the rest of his life. Sounds like your father was a hero. He planted that purse. He knew this man was guilty beyond a shadow of a doubt? Yes, sir. He broke the rules to set things right so that people could feel like they were living in a world where they knew which way was up. Now, the people that knew what my dad had done, his friends on the force, you know, they were happy to get a dangerous guy off the street, save the women that he might have hurt, that he would have hurt. But they never looked at him the same way again. It's like they weren't certain they could trust anything he did now. Marriage to my mama fell apart. He moved up north, he started drinking. Did the right thing. It cost him. It cost him something hard. This is gonna cost you something. And you seem to know that. Yeah. I ain't worried about me. And I, and I trust Jenny not to hurt June because she needs people who know medicine. But I. I know I'll never see her again. When my dad disappeared, that was hard on my mom. That was hard on me. But he had to do what he did. It's who he was. And I, I know there's people alive today who probably wouldn't have been. He chose life, even if it cost him the one he was living. Yeah. That's the choice I'm making. John, we can find another way. I can talk to her. Buy more time. But there's nothing to buy. It's Rabbi. I want you to make sure June gets this letter. So she knows why I, I had to. Thank you. Who knows, John? You may yet see her again. Hey, let's hope so. <laughs>